welcome to another Woods Report. We're doing Yay. a review of the view. August uh, 3rd. The view. Let's see. Wednesday, August 3rd. August 3rd. All right. 2020. All right. Okay. Now, today. Review of the view. August 3rd. Review of the view. All right. They're celebrating 25 years, you guys. So you know, those of you who watch The View, you know that they've gone through a number of hosts. Mm -hmm. There's been hosts who've been there for a while. Joy even was there for a while and, and left and came back. Mm -hmm. Whoopi has not been from the beginning. Right. But None of them have, just Joy. Just Joy. So they're in the 25 year celebration, they're going back to that original cast mm -hmm. and the first two, I guess, groups. Cause uh, Elizabeth, I don't think she mm -mm. replaced that blonde lady. Mm -mm. Cause the lady wasn't, what was it? The first blonde. The original was an Asian girl. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. So they're going to original. And then that other girl, the long blonde hair. Up until hair. Yeah. Whoopi and all of them where they Genevieve. are now. No, not Genevieve. Another one. I know you talking yeah, about. Yeah, and Genevieve as well. So they're going through the years, you know, celebration. And today was Elizabeth um, Hasselbeck. Hasselbeck's turn to be on The View at the table with okay. all the ladies. And I like Elizabeth. And she's cool. She's cool. The only thing, the only concern, um, she's, Kim was asking why didn't they talk about Nancy Pelosi and they didn't, but they used two topic uh, points, commercial break and came back to it. You know how Elizabeth is very conservative, to very say. conservative yeah. and she's a born again believer. She's always put that out there mm -hmm. and she's always been upfront with her faith. So what they talked about? So they talked about abortion. They okay. talked about pro-choice, pro-life. Mm -hmm. um, the main thing they talked about uh, well, first of all, they talked about a book. She's written a book too, and you may want to look into that. Mm -hmm. she's, oh, a kids book. Mm -hmm, oh, okay. A, a kids book. She's been uh, busy writing a book for kids called Flashlight Night. Okay. Um, it's Flash a, Night. Flashlight Night. So flashlight. They have their little flashlights, and they open the book, and it's like a. Oh, okay. She's teaching her kids. They have a chalkboard at home, and I think the book has a little chalkboard kind of a thing you oh, can okay. write in there as well. Okay. Um, the kids to kind of speak their hearts and their prayers to God. Okay. Whether the prayers are answered or not. Okay. They revisit them. They write on their wall. I want God to do this, or mommy, I want God to do this, or God, can you do this? And go back and they flashlight it and see all of the things they've been writing, you know, as okay, they gradually get, cute. you know, older. Um, some, some prayers don't get answered right, not right. right away. Or you don't know they got answered. Or you don't know they got they answered. They may not came the way you thought so they So they may have a little yeah. update, but she said that was one way she wanted parents to see what's in their kids' hearts. Okay. It's because you don't know, think about a kid's praying it's to God if, they, spy on them if they're a person of faith. I know that. That's the way of spying right, to go. Because, you know, some kids be killing little cats in the Right, alley. right. That's what I'm saying. That's and, the way they and, know what's going on. And building a name. bomb in the basement. God, please don't let me push little Susie down the stairs. God, I don't like the school teachers. They need to all blow up. Mom, or God, oh my God, please help my teacher like me. She she talks to me so bad. And because I, mom, I like the same <laughs> sex. I like boys too. Right, right. Can you know everything from the prayer book. <laughs> They're writing it down. Right, 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 right. So I understand what she's going to, but right, it, right. it may open the can of worms, though, because you're like, oh my God, Help my five year old like friend. Me. And then, too, people of faith, um, whatever your faith is as well, <laughs> you have to explain to them why that prayer didn't come up to pass. I mean, but some you parents have know. a hard time. Well, I'm just saying, if you're ready to answer right, that. Right, right, right. You know, maybe God has not ready to answer that yet, or right, son, right, don't right. worry about it, but let's just always see right, if right. the prayer's going to get answered. If it's something that's like motivated. cut and dry, like, but that's I want a dog or something, and you don't get it or something. Yeah, okay. honey, maybe God felt like you're too young to take care of the dog. Or right? I feel like you're too young. I... <laughs> it's truthful with All the right, kid. Go ahead, Hopefully go ahead. that opens the open. Oh, up dialogue mm -hmm. but that's her book that she gave an update on okay. and then um whoopi mentioned that she's the oh well whoopi was sharing with her she's the first conservative that whoopi had as far as a talk show host so whoopi had to learn she said you taught me as far as your conservative views mm -hmm. on how to communicate with you, even right. if I feel different. Everybody don't th think the same. Mm -mm. Yeah. And everybody I, think everybody got to think the same. And one thing I did like when Elizabeth said, and I had to write it, she says, um, she, she made it clear that it's a beautiful thing. If we can hold, hold our opinions in one hand, mm -hmm. our opinions and our feelings towards the issues. And in the other hand, hold the person that we're communicating with or to, 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 um, show that the, we're unifying each other, exactly. even though I just think keep my opinions him. over here right. do, and do we, we really come together? Do we things? really want everybody to think the same? 
I like that. Because what if you wrong? You should always want somebody to think different than you, Sarah, even if you agree with them or Sarah not. Sarah hit on that as well. That's why yeah. I love Sarah. I love how I like Sarah, Sarah thinks. Too. I love how she thinks. But topic number one, and they carried this over for two segments. Okay. We all know that um, uh, Elizabeth had her struggles with having a baby. Right, I think right. she had the in vitro or whatever you call it. Mm -hmm. So they talked about abortion right from, mm -hmm. the, from the go. Mm -hmm. And you know how strongly she feels about mm -hmm. it. Gave an, a, gave an example of a friend of hers that was a, a result of rape. Right, right. She was really stressing organizations that she's even a part of mm -hmm. to help women when they do get in that situation. Mm -hmm. They're here to help. They're all here to, the way, from the womb to the All the way. Tomb. That's what she's saying. From the womb That's to the tomb. That's what she's saying. And we know Sarah had made a comment later on saying, we do know, thank you for sharing that, but there are some cracks. Because there are some organizations that are not out there that are helping. Right. Or there are nowhere that these ladies can go to. Exactly. That, that organization that you may be talking about may not even be in their they community. Right, right. So she's sharing that on her, her face, her, exactly. um, her, her website. Mm -hmm. But um, they talked about, let's see. And then you consistent. Then I can't say mm -hmm. nothing. If you consistent, I like people when they're consistent. I don't have to think like you or be like you or whatever, whether you pro-life or pro-choice. Mm -hmm. But just be consistent. Excuse me. Just be consistent. Mm -hmm. That's all. I know. If you're a person that's pro-life, care about the baby after it's born. Right. You pushing her to have it, so care about that's it. Tony and, Evans and I want to hear to the tomb. I want to hear that you involved in organizations that help people mm -hmm. and all these other assist moms and mm -hmm. all of that. Yep. That's all. Just be consistent. Yep. So, okay. um, Joy shared her test. Her well, she didn't realize it was a testimony, mm -hmm. but when you tell about what you've experienced, Joy said she had a um, what do you call the Philippian? Uh, when you get pregnant in your Philippian tomb? Yes. Mm -hmm. Her baby, her, mm -hmm. her first, when she had gotten pregnant, mm -hmm. it was in the tube. Right. A lot her of women. fetus was in mm -hmm. there. And it, it was a situation where she was pretty much almost died. Yeah. And the doctors, she got to the hospital um, and it was, she was grateful that she had the insurance or whatever to cover mm -hmm. her. But um, they pretty much said, you can't you can't carry this baby right, you'll right. die mm -hmm. so those situations and joy shared that she said that's all i have to say about my situation and how i feel about well, it there's other lady was um, on there said, well here's the thing this other lady said her she had the philippian thing and um and she said it was a lady who was pro-life and she mm -hmm. said that she went and the church they was telling her it. not to get it mm -hmm. and so she decided she's gonna get one anyway abortion and she said she went and she got the abortion, and then they found out it didn't take, and it and, and they still live. and the baby still lived. Yeah. And so she went back to the doctor, and he said, "Oh, it's it's in there and that whatever that too." He said, "But it's surrounded by whatever it is surrounded by it. It can allow it. it it's it's going to let live. it, but you still might let it die. But the baby could grow." And she said. When that happened, she said she didn't get it the second time mm -hmm. because she felt like that was God telling her Keeping to have her it. from destroying it. And, and then she said, now, you know, her son is like 30-some years old with his own kids You can always stuff. have different so it's, stories. So it's stories it's on both stories. sides, guys. Yeah, it is. Because we've known people who have had it's on both um, sides. the situation where life, the death, we've had moms who have passed who died. Both sides. They don't have that seventh child. And we've had and people had that's that Christian yes. where the doctor wanted to take the baby yes. and because of the pro-choice law they had the decision. They made the decision to not say, the doctor. No, don't take my baby. I know my life is at risk. They use Roe versus Wade to, in to order to have the baby. Have that baby. So it's on both sides. So guys. I do and, and that did come up. Joy shared that Whoopi was strong in standing that we can make the decision ourselves. Whoopi says she looks at it differently as far as um, we're we're wise people. We're people that God created, and we some we make this. well we make sense. A lot of women they have common sense and they'll figure it out. But let us do that. Let us make the decision. And she said, just for the clarity, everybody at this table is not pro-abortion. Right, right. Every woman at this we don't go and say I'm going to kill. I, that's the first thing I want to do is just get rid of it. We we're we're we're, we're for the baby and the right. life of the baby. We're about the decision right. that for ourselves. But so, I disagree most people have common sense. They don't. Well, she was saying... But it's still, it's, a, it's still, that has nothing to do with choice. Saying, you could be an idiot and still, that's your choice. Well, she was just saying smart. She feels like women are smart enough. No, they're not. Um, to create it with common sense to hopefully make the right decision, right to, to not abort, no. um, hopefully go for those programs. I don't that have faith in mankind has like Well, here's the problem. Sorry. I think 
one of the things that um, I would always love to ask somebody like Elizabeth, who for whatever reason don't feel that the, the abortion is any, whether you're raped, whether you're the, the, the mother's health, or whether you're in, incest. So she prevented. said, and in she those said, cases, there's always still. a purpose to that baby. There's a purpose oh. for that baby to live, to live. You pretty much kind of touched it when you said people are stupid, people are crazy. That's the problem. She's she's an example of people who put their religion on someone who thinks like you're saying, right, right, where they're not thinking right, exactly. and they want to go kill it for for right. contraceptive reasons or whatever. Right, right. Sunny made a good point. She said, "I feel like you do, um, Elizabeth. I am truly not for abortion mm -hmm. and for my my faith and everything. I I definitely believe." Uh, upon conception, right. that's that's a life, mm -hmm. and that life should be spared. It should be you should keep it. And um, she said, but one thing that um, I don't agree with is that when you put your religion and your faith on making that decision for the entire country, there's people who don't have your faith. They don't have a. They don't believe in the God you believe in. Right. They don't even believe in God. How can you justify? saying, well, my faith says you need to keep it because, and not kill it. Because if you're pro-life, you believe that you are protecting that child at all costs. Regardless of that person's exactly. faith uh, it, and I, religion. We could talk yeah. about this all day. It that's, goes both that's ways. That's what they talked about. Both ways. So that was a big thing. That and both people, both sides have points on both sides. Uh -huh. You have to decide on what you believe in and what's your, what, what, how do you feel? about it mm -hmm. and you make your own decision based on how you feel about it no. and it doesn't mean that whether so this is the part i don't like mm -hmm. if somebody's pro-life why you can't be friends with them if you pro-choice or if you pro-choice why can't you be friends with somebody that's pro-life that's the part i don't like extreme stuff no people don't, don't have to, to do think like with you them. as long as the person has thought out what they saying and they're telling you why they believe what they believe mm -hmm. That's it. Leave it at that. Leave it at and that. And I have a problem too. Everybody don't have to agree with you. And I have a problem too. And Sarah kind of touched on it. Um, let's just say for sake of argument, that young lady or older lady, whatever age, she did have an abortion. Mm -hmm. She aborted the child. Yeah. You're not going to talk to her. That's what I'm saying. You're not going to love on her. So you know right now she's going through some right. things because she's got rid of this, whatever her reasons are. Exactly. So one of the things Sarah said made an interesting point. She said, when it comes to everyone coexisting in this country with different religions and faiths, that we have to be careful not to, to, it, uh, per, to put our faith on someone else's as far as the legislation and the laws. Right. And she says, we're guilty of judging Mm -hmm. that person and she kind of spoke about a little bit about judging she said um allowing people to make their own decisions because we all personally have to face our god mm -hmm. on our own on judgment day mm -hmm. and what we've done and haven't done right she said what if we're right what if we're wrong you kind of touched on that what if we're wrong exactly but that's between you and god exactly. you so that's be judged right, on right. that you were wrong my sister but okay. come on i love you still so and it, it wasn't no another. big drag out fight then with elizabeth on and them talking about no abortion. no but so it was good. a good debate that's it was good, a good as long as it's a good and debate. i don't think uh, elizabeth would ever change her views. exactly and they won't change theirs they won't change so, theirs. Right, but she said go. hold that opinion in one hand and hold that hold, love the, the, hold someone else's hand and then walk together right Aside from your difference okay. of opinion. Topic um, three, you know, uh, they doing all of these because of Elizabeth. I know. Right, right. Would you let your kids play football? Now, you know she from a football family. Oh, that's a good one. They all had different views on that. What would she say? Of course, she's for it. Oh, okay. Um, one of the things that she brought up, she said she understands that because um, her, her son plays. Yeah. Her son is playing. Um, and, her, and her brother, her brother-in-law. Everybody, Arthur Hasselbeck. Everybody play football. In that, in that family. Yeah, that's everybody. a football family. That's, that's football like going to Tom Brady's family. Yeah, yeah. Or what's would the other guy? Would you play football? Yeah. Would you, would you let your... And, and you, they'll look at you like, get out of here. Yeah, what are you talking about? It's a hit or miss. It's a chance thing. You know, because this, this football season is coming up now in the you little league. You can get hurt in track. Stuff. You can get hurt in anything. Any, any sport. But she was saying how we've gotten, we've come a long way with the safety. Yeah. They've even changed rules on certain ways that the p players can't bump exactly. heads or how they can tackle each other. So she's saying we're at a better place now in the sport of football than we were 20, 15 years ago. Right. And I would let right. Mine. The helmets are even different. 
Um, the rules are different. So she said, of course, I would, yeah. I would, you know, of course, her Sonny, no, I'm sure joy brought up a good thing. No. And I never knew this about joy. She said, she spoke about when she was younger, her and her friends would go to these football games and they knew one of the players, his name was Nick Bonacani or something. I didn't, I may not be saying it right. He played for Florida, I think, or mm -hmm. some main team. He was a, a pro ball player, um, meeting him and the issues that he's having now, they, he had um, uh, uh, dementia issues. He had problems with the, 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 mm -hmm. the brain. They used his brain. STE is what they're calling it. Yeah. They used his brain for study, you know, back then. Right. Um, to kind of get an understanding of where they're coming now is what a lot of guys back in his day mm -hmm. were injured, didn't realize right. until they get older. So oh, my God, there's bumps her. on the head. And she said, this is how I feel about the, the sport. She said his son, Mark, that same guy played in college. Mm -hmm. He's a paralegic now. Okay. He's handicapped. Mm -hmm. She said, no, right. I don't want none of my kids, none of my grandkids. And that was her opinion. Yeah. She said, that's all I have to say yeah, about football. That's her opinion. Sonny. So there was that in boxing. That's well, she probably wouldn't want him to do boxing either. Joy is consistent. She wrestling. Says she, that's just anything. You get your neck broken wrestling. Yeah, she that's probably, what I'm saying. No one joy. She don't want to play no sport. Exactly. Unless he's running, but he can twist his ankle or whatever. Fall, polo. Or, uh, you that's fall true. Off that's true. But horse. she's saying because of the contact. I know, but go But um, Sonny said her son, he played ball, football. And you know how Sonny is. She's like, but she couldn't have, she said she hadn't, she couldn't do anything about it. Because her husband it. probably wanted Her it. son made the decision to play football. Good. And she didn't. He played. Now, one of the things that um, um, I'm surprised Elizabeth said is, is one thing about sports, and especially football, you learn um, diversity, mixing with the, you know, you get to uh, meet and get become friends with right, different right, races right. of people, opportunities. There's kids who are very good at mm -hmm. it. They get a and scholarship. They when they're little and they I know, the little, little, little flag or whatever oh, They're is. so sweet. But <laughs> there's no good on. points about the game. And, 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 and Sonny was like, you're right, because my son... He came back and he said, Mom, I met so many guys. I got some good friends from being in that sport. But her son, I guess, as he went on to college, he made the decision exactly. to quit. Yeah. So it was. I'm glad Sonny allowed him to make that decision. Yeah. She said she prayed hard. Yeah. She did not want him playing. I'm surprised she let him. Yeah. That's controlling that she I is. know. When she said her son, she said there was nothing she could do about it. So I, I don't know what happened. might have something to do you with think, that. You yeah. think? You okay. think? But that was funny that she shared that. Now, Again, that to me is I for me I wouldn't care. I mean, is see we'll it's, be, we'll to, be an answer to me any sport you could get her. Well, in. Sarah made her point. You could drown in swimming. Sarah made her point, and she said, "My dear friend, Mike, Michael Strahan, mm -hmm, Strahan, Strahan, football player, years mm -hmm. did really well, got awards and everything." And she said, "So she knows the sport. They would go to football games when she was younger. They know the sport. Right, right, right. She and her husband consciously." made a decision that their kids is not going to be yeah, a part of sports. Fine. And fine. she gave reasons to, I'm already dealing with things with them right. um, in general, raising them and what other things they're involved with. Why would I want to add to that right. with the possibility? You know, she said they may not ever get hurt. There's the other thing. to add on that as, uh, oh my God. And oh then my there's God, a my natural, oh my God. There's a natural thing as well. Mm -hmm. Her kids probably don't have a natural movement towards sports. Cause that's like anything, know. music. It could be anything. Mm -hmm. You kind of know you when your kid them, right? has a, you know, like our friend boxing mm -hmm. is huge with yeah. them. And people yeah. would probably say that's the worst sport you could have your son Ooh, in. Cause that's constantly that's constantly hitting their head. Yeah. But to me, your kids, as long as your kids are moving in that direction mm -hmm. in a natural and they way, enjoy it. That's fine. And you got. I don't watch like them. when people make somebody do something. Yeah. Because. Yeah. Because like I tried to play um the um the clarinet. Mm -hmm. I don't like I it wasn't you natural like an for instrument? me. Okay. So I'm not an instrument person. You know what I mean? So it just depends. Mm -hmm. Like you went to high school, you did volleyball. You should have did stage. If I had to redo my You should have did days, music and stage. I should have done drama and music. Thank you. When you I tried to do softball, softball, set the bench, volleyball, set the bench. Exactly. I'm like, I'm not good at all. Y'all y'all kids not good. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I know y'all get mad. They're, they're I don't horrible. know why. I think I did it because some of my friends were doing but it. But some of y'all kids is not good. They but not you know good what? in sports. It's not natural to them and they don't like it. I always so bring, why are you making them do it? I always bring up that. Uh, old show in the old episode of the Brady Bunch mm -hmm. when Greg 
they they, they had a, they had troubles trying to tell the mom that he was going to be playing football in high school. Oh yeah. So dad was, he said, "Dad, can you come with me and tell mom?" Of course, she got went off. No, no kid of mine. No, no. Come on, um, um, what's her name? Uh, whatever the mother's name is. Come on, let him play. Let him play. Let's see. <sighs> okay. Okay, Greg, I'll let and you play. And then he play. got hurt. He got injured. His right, ribs right, was right, hurt. Right, right. Oh, coach, please don't tell my mom. Right, right, I'll right. I'll tell my dad. I remember that. So, um, because he had to tell his mom, he was really felt bad because he thought the girl that went, that was calling him and liking him was because he was a football right. player. You're going to tell the whole episode. And she got mad because of that. But <laughs> what happened was, kind of like what Kim was saying, um, football wasn't like number one to right, him. Right, it's not number he one. He started actually taking photos. He's Johnny He's Bravo. <laughs> The suit fits, man. You fit the suit. Clouds never <laughs> run before. Raindrops never run. Never <laughs> run before. Johnny Bravo. But he felt like I'm doing good, taking photos. He's Johnny Bravo. He's not a football so player. He wasn't a player that right. really, really needed. I just All said right. that for, to, to say pretty much what Kim is saying right, that right. It, it wasn't his love. Okay. And that's what his mom was having about. Okay. Well, stay tuned. Um, what else they talking about? I think that's it. 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 I Oh, they had another topic. Jill Biden was interviewed in the Real Simple magazine. There's a Real Simple magazine mm -hmm. that's out there. And I guess they have mm -hmm. different ways of I like her. simplicity or whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, she was saying she found an easy way, and this was her thought, mm -hmm. to manage her family. When family members come, visit the house, friends, mm -hmm. they always ask me, is there anything I can help? How can I help? What can I do to help? Okay. She has post-it notes saying how ways they can help. Like fill the ashtray. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, change the paper. You know paper. that's from Seinfeld, right? He did post the notes. Uh, oh, Seinfeld. <laughs> you know my favorite show is Seinfeld. Uh -huh. That was an episode. So she got that from Seinfeld, probably. You think? But on Seinfeld, they went to a party. This a friend of theirs, mm -hmm. and every time he gives people jobs. And they hate him because they say, I hate going to his parties because every time he has notes or whatever for people to do things. As soon as you walk in, he said, and they walked in, uh, Seinfeld, Elaine, and George, uh -huh. or Kramer, whoever. He said, Elaine, you're on coat duty. And then, <laughs> and si he said, and then, and then Seinfeld said, he was like, well, what? You stay, stop getting jealous. Like, okay, well, what am I? What, what you? And he said, okay, you, si uh, you, Seinfeld. You watch the um, watch the uh, fish tank. Make sure nobody throw anything in it. And Seinfeld took that job serious. He stood and people and would people would it. bang on the glass. He, don't do that. He, was, he watched the, the fish watch tank because that was his job. Oh people my People put a cup God. on it. Don't do that. Don't don't do that. Well, that's what Sonny said. So we give everybody a job. She, said she like telling them not posted. No, not posted. No, but that's what he did. Sonny he told them they came in. Hey, Bill. Yeah. Make sure you take all the coats in the that room. That was on Seinfeld. Hey, um, John. That was John. Make sure the cars are parked. And correctly. so this guy's coat got stolen, and Elaine got blamed for oh, it because no, she was on she coat, was duty. coat duty. <laughs> That's but true. he gave every time you come in his house, he gave each person a job. I like that. So I think George was nobody could put um a cup on the table on it because you know it leaves a ring. Yes. So he they need a coaster. You make walk around, make sure nobody. So they were okay with these little duties. They knew every time you go to this man's party, he gives you duties. I love it. So I when you said it. that, that means Jill think Biden. Of that. She yeah. does it on Post-it notes. Yeah, and yeah. was asking him. How, is give this a good way a to manage how you can get people involved? Of course, some of the ladies were like, no, I don't do post-it notes. Yeah. I just let them know like this guy does. Like yeah. you're saying, I let them know, right. this is how you can help. Watch the kids. Yeah. This is how you can help. Fill the ashtrays or right, whatever. Right, 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 right. She's like vocally telling But that guy, them. They don't, you don't ask. He tells he, you when you come to the party what your job is. Yeah, and that's what Jill does. Not. She just uses a post-it note to do it. Okay. So that's but I like her. You know, I love, I like her, I love and, her. And I like the fact that See, we had Michelle Obama, mm -hmm. who, in my opinion, was a good first lady. Mm -hmm. Then we had... We had good first ladies had, before that, too. Right. I'm talking about the recent. Okay. Then we had model. Donna. Oh, Donna. Donna. The Donna. Oh, the, the other Donna. wife said the Donald, right? The one that passed away. Yeah. No, this is Donna. Donna. And the one who stole Michelle Obama's mess of speech. Oh, yeah. And gave it. Yeah. And made the black Christmas trees and all kind yeah, of... she just, turned a lot of things. And you know to, she didn't want to be there. Yeah, she did. You don't see her nowhere I don't now, think do she you? wants to come back. Do you see her anywhere? They, she they is, ain't separate if he tries to be getting that white well, house Well, he again. paid her. He gave... They re-negotiated um, their... Um, 
um, their their um, whatever that thing is they that have that form that they fill out. What's the couples get? Uh, you know, I can't think of it right now, but y'all know what I'm talking yeah, about. Prenup, prenup. Okay. They renegotiated their prenup. Remember when he first got in office, she didn't come. She was in New York for a mm-hmm. long time. Yes, before her and her son And people came. was complaining because security had to be at Trump Tower yes, and at that's the White a lot House. Of money. But she didn't come because they was renegotiating their prenup. Oh, so once you think he, he's paying her? No, they it's been it was in the new once he pre they renegotiated it. She came to the White she House. She had to come and she had to play the role of first lady. Think she'll do it but again, though. she don't want to do that. He went to how much money would he have to pay her to to do it? I don't know. He ain't even got that much money. But he probably he paid her. You know what? Outing, that's probably maybe why he's that's to get why money. he mad. Maybe in the prenup he negotiated two terms. So that's why he mad about losing. You think? They said this recent thing. Oh, I didn't this think is about this that. is Donald Trump, the new the wife that passed away, okay. the previous wife. Uh-huh. They said he had her buried at his golf um his golf course. Do they have uh, other And ca- the reason why other cemeteries are there? Well, he she was buried there. Uh-huh. And they said cemeteries are tax exempt. So once he buried her there, he made his he made place that a burial place. ground <laughs> tax exempt. A lawyer must have told him that one. Double check that, y'all. Accountant. Job. What a that man! Even in death, he got her. Even in death, he had to control her. But that's what people are doing now with the whole when we. But the kids allow it. But that's what people are doing now with the um whole abortion the the, the thing with the uh, having a baby and conceiving. And your embryos. Oh, you could get life insurance. Tax, tax write off. I agree. As a dependent. I agree. If you're going to have life. a state, that's if that's... I'm in a state where abortion is illegal and I get pregnant, I want a tax, tax write off. I want insurance. I want everything that a human being gets. They said on the news, I think embryos. For the is baby like inside the stomach. $3,000 per uh, something. And, they, that's and the father off. pays child support. Oh my God! I know they hate that. That's gonna kill every man. Yep. Oh my goodness! Got to pay child support for that embryo. Now, once the baby's born, Mm -hmm. and you don't think it's yours, you take her to court. Mm, Get a test. And if you prove that you're not the father, then you she got to pay you whatever you paid towards that baby. Unless it's a situation like Sherry Shepard. She has oh, to pay him because he wanted to keep the oh. eggs. She pay. didn't want them. Got to pay. But you married him with that plan, with that okay. purpose to do it. So yeah, you. So I for think that. if you in a state, Ooh, I, I agree. You. If you in a state that's anti-abortion, mm-hmm. I would drive in the lane like that lady did with the two people lane. Mm-hmm. If you're pregnant, yeah. She said we're two people. We're two people. Mm-hmm. I would insurance. <laughs> Starts at that time, which means if I have a miscarriage, oh the insurance company has to pay me. Wow. Things are going to change with this, with these laws. So let's just be ready I for that. I put an insurance policy on the, on the baby inside. Oh my God. If yes. I have a miscarriage, the insurance company got to pay me. Can people start using, um, you know how we would put a, a, a new, the phone number, a new social security number in their names? A, the the, uh, the, the unborn bill. child gets a social a security number. <laughs> he gets a social security number. They already number. doing it with their kids. And he gets a phone bill in his name. <laughs> They're not even born yet. Now, they was they got Kim Burrell for cracking on people for that, so that's just wrong. But, okay, we don't know. People may be in other very words, creative with this. In other words, the bottom line is if you're in a state mm-hmm. that is anti-abortion mm-hmm. and they look at the unborn fetus as mm-hmm. a child, mm-hmm. it should get every right that a human being has wow, on this earth. Wow, wow. Because you already get in trouble if life. you yes. harm, you yes. already go to jail if you try to kill yes. or, that's you life. know. That's life. That seed, that fetus, that's so. life. That's that heart beating. Boom, boom, right. boom. So they ended it with, they usually end with a guest. Okay. And this guy, they were saying, loving his name, Diego Luna. Does that name ring a bell to you? Diego Luna. Mm-hmm. Luna. Okay. Star Wars. Oh. He's a Star Wars character. Um, they're reprising his role. Okay. In, he, I think it was in Rogue One. Star Wars Rogue One. There was I, an episode I of Rogue, Rogue One. One. You watched Rogue One. And um, they were saying that they, uh, Sonny was happy that he st- he keeps his accent even in his Spanish accent. He's Mexican, um, and he's keeping his accent. He's not trying to downplay his accent as a Spanish person. 
and they and then they talked. Oh, I've seen him before. Yeah, and they talked about he has a little um uh um action figure of himself. Oh, Star Trek. Star Trek. And they were yeah, like, I've seen him before. How do you feel about that? And he was like, I don't really. In Star Trek, you I know, did. I don't know. And Whoopi was excited. She said, I would be excited if I had one, you know, like. She got stuff. one. That's what I'm saying. She was saying, oh. I'm, I'm excited. And I, I will be excited, but I'm excited because yeah. it happens to me. I was going to say, she has one. Yeah, that's true. She does. Um, And they showed it to her. And she was like, wow, yeah, really? She has one. But um, they just kind of talked with him about the show coming. They're going to be doing three new episodes. Yeah, uh -huh, keep going. Mm -hmm. Diego, Diego Luna. That's a different name. It's a Diego. Mm -hmm. Whoopi yeah, says she say, loves but... that name. She said, I would call myself Diego Luna the second. I guess closer you could see. Yeah, him. Star Wars character reprising his role from Rogue One. Uh -huh. Um, He made the decision to keep the Spanish. And then, of course, we don't get it where we can start putting stuff yeah, up. Yeah, with you can see with the computer. behind us as we're talking. Yeah. We don't get more about. professional, y'all. We're going to get yeah, more professional. Yeah, we're working on Go that. Ahead. And then Disney Plus. We got a lot of stuff going on right now. Delivering man. three episodes. So um, it's a Star Wars adventure that's coming out. So everybody's going to be on the lookout for that. Okay. But yeah, it's it's good when um he was saying as a Spanish, as a Mexican, um, to have that role. And to, to reprise it and to bring it back. Okay. That he felt like, you know, his representation for the culture and so forth and love the diversity mm -hmm. that Star Wars has always shown. Okay. Star Wars has always been, Star Trek diverse and, and Star Wars have always been a, a diverse. As they, well, because they got to be like I ahead of the that. time. And right. Disney. It's, yeah. it's, it shows what well, how we, our know real Disney world. With the whole thing. Oh, yeah, that character. <laughs> That's why they need to sit down and talk to these characters that are shunning <laughs> little kids of color. Disney and Sesame Street. Rosita and whoever else. Rapunzel and all of them. We didn't get that problem with Barney. <laughs> oh, hello, birds and boys. Right, right. I don't care what color you are. Well, he's purple. <laughs> so, I'm purple. <laughs> well, now this just then. Okay. Uh, Biden, Biden signs executive order to protect travel for abortion. Ooh. See, we were just talking about that. We abortion. Were just talking about that. Letting women go to another state mm -hmm. to um, have their abortion if they so fit. But, but what all these breaking news? Um, Illinois GOP Congresswoman, or Indiana, GOP oh. Congresswoman Jackie Walorski killed in a car oh crash. Oh my God, today? All this is flashing oh across as we on this, no. as we're on here. Chicago area. Okay. As we're on here. One thing though I wanted to say with the whole abortion thing, since we're ending on that, um, I always wanted to challenge, um, people who are for, um, pro-choice, uh, pro-life and, um, want regardless of the reasons you know if a person was raped or whatever we know there's reasons some people are for it unless these reasons happen then they'll go okay we'll reconsider because she was raped 10 years old right. we'll reconsider whatever my thing is with our faith if our faith those of us who are even christians we serve a great god mm -hmm. we serve a mighty god even to the point where why are we so nervous and concerned to change a law to put on a lady to, to protect that baby. Do we not serve a God that can protect that baby? No, because people... And the decision that the mom hopefully won't make? Right, no. They still think... we thinking, pray for people no, to make still, right decisions. They still, I'm telling you, the pro-life... Your trust in God is not... No, the pro-life no. people are still saying, again, at any cost, mm -hmm. is to protect the life of the child. That's it. But can so. they trust God to do that? No, because they don't... They, if, in that case, then people would not... You, you'd be ridiculous, because people would never die, or people would always be alive. And, well, you know, that's saying trust God, you don't get whacked do over the head. I don't know. It's so, just, so for me, for right. some reason, you have a faith. If your faith is so strong in them, you would be praying, praying that a yeah. woman, you know, that you come in contact with, know. that she don't make that decision. To me, I don't care. Everybody had their own belief. Yeah. In what okay, they that was just in. something I thought about. Okay. All right. So, so good, was that it? Good discussion. Yeah. All right. Okay. So that was another, another Woods report. report. See you later.